we're going to have a forever loop here. So after the bug resets its position to something random that's not too close to the player, you can choose a number here that makes sense. For me, 100 it seemed like it was pretty good. I'm going to put a forever loop in because I want the bug to continue to chase the player. And here we have that if else block. If the distance to the player is small, so right here, how did I get 30? Well, I got it because I typed it in, but how did I know 30? What I did is I moved the bug to what looked like was touching. I can't zoom this picture in, but that looked like it was touching. And then I looked at the X coordinate is 21 and the player's X coordinate was zero. So that was about distance 20 away. I probably could shrink this down to 20. You can do the same thing up here and then look at the Y coordinate difference. So the Y coordinate is negative 19 and the Y coordinate here is zero. So maybe 20 is the right number instead of 30. So if the distance is close, that means the bug attacked or got the player. So I'm gonna broadcast the message got player. And of course, what does that do? Well, we'll go back to the player. When I receive got player, this is in the player. I'm gonna stop the other scripts. Specifically, I wanted to stop the movement script. I didn't want the player to keep moving around once the bug got the player. So we broadcast got player. Else, so what the else is, is if the distance is not small, this code is going to chase the player. So it points towards the player, moves a certain number of steps. I chose five, you can make it go a little slower. Three or four is fine. Then I put a little bit of a weight here. Uh, I'll remove the weight and we'll see, well, I'll leave it in so you can see how it looks. Then I'll remove it and see the difference. So I'm gonna hit the play button and the bug should reset. Every time you hit the play button, the bug should reset to a new position. And you see it happening right there. And it's coming at the player because that's what we told it to do, point towards the player and move. Now when it's point towards, you get only get three choices. There's the mouse and then whatever sprites you have. And that's, that's how it points towards. And then it moves and then it waits. Uh, you could put zero seconds in here, a zero second wait and it would just move faster. Uh, it's up to you how, you how you want to do it. You could put a, I think I had 0 0.05 and then I took a few more steps and it kind of looks the same, it just gets a little bit choppier. So it's up to you how you want to do it. You could remove the weight and have it move less steps. Um, either way is totally fine. And when it receives reset, all it's gonna do is stop the other scripts in the sprite. I don't reset the position because as soon as I hit the start button, it's gonna reset the position is the very first thing that we do. And then we go to this chase loop right here.